best friends forever and the perfect marriage. I just want to say thank you for your ministry. And I feel like it is a ministry definitely that you are giving us and you're sharing with the world. And I just appreciate appreciate your craft. And I want just to encourage you to continue to give us books, to give us things that will help us in our home, help us in our marriage, help us in our friendships, in our church, and in our community as a whole. Oh, thank you so much. You you have no idea. You're called just everything that you said that I needed to hear. It's so encouraging. And I tell my readers all the time, but today is you know, it's one of those days where you have that moment sometimes where you're getting ready for a book to come out, you finish up another, and there's still just that little bit of a question of saying, you know, is it worth it? And for whatever reason, I never really get beyond that, but it is to hear comments like yours and like Jocasta's that tell me, you know, do and, and hopefully continue to write something that can help people. Well, thank you so much because it's definitely a big help. Show you some love. Well, thank you so very much. I really appreciate it. Well, thank you so much, caller. Thank you for listening to That's What's Up With Your Costa. We really appreciate your call. Thank you. You all have a great Sunday, Saturday. Okay, you Happy too. Saturday. <laughs> You know, that is, see, and you said that's what you, you know, do. There, there are probably so many readers and even some newer writers who think, gosh, you know, you've written X amount of books, and so surely, you know, you don't have those moments, or surely you don't question whether this is what you're supposed to be doing, but I have, and I've done it a lot more than I think people realize over the last few months, and, you know, just kind of trying to figure it out, and, and you do question yourself, and I think... Of course, a lot of times, you know, that's not of God. A lot of times that is of faith because the more I, you know, try to build on my relationship and, you know, really work on my walk and to try to do the right thing as, as much as I can, I think that's where the struggle and the fight comes in. And, um, but then encouragement and to get that kind of feedback really makes all the difference in the world for me. And that is... I am so excited. We have another caller on right now. Uh, hello, caller. You're on That's What's Up with Jacosta, and you're speaking to right now Kimberla, the best author in the entire world. <laughs> I so agree with that, Miss Kimberla. Oh, my goodness. Oh, I am so excited because I have followed you so long, and I have enjoyed every book that you have published. And I'm so excited about the new one. But um, I have one question for you. Curtis Black. Oh, my goodness. How did you come up with this person? Is this somebody that's kind of somewhat in, that you knew, sort of, in a way? Or was this just a God-given person? Well, you know, Curtis is a mixture. He's this compilation of a lot of different ministers that I have known over the years or heard about, you know, or at least just witnessed in, in one way or another. And so that may be why he has done so much because he just represents so many of those um, that are out there. And I was saying earlier to Jocasta when we first started speaking was that it you know, wasn't until I wrote casting the first film, the very first one, that I was getting all of that feedback and the comments from readers saying, will you write him again and saying that they knew him. And they were even coming out to some of my events telling me the real names of their pastors who were just like the Reverend Curtis Black. And, and that's when I realized that he was alive and well. And it wasn't just locally. You know, it wasn't just where I lived in Illinois, but that he was, you know, throughout the country. And so, yeah, it's, it's just been amazing. And I... You know, and am grateful to have had this opportunity to share the stories of so many people who have been affected because I think more than anything, we can look at the storylines and, and what Curtis has done over the years and now what his son Dylan, Dylan is doing. But my hope is that with those books that it makes us pay attention, you know, to who our Christian leaders are and that, you know, we are in a place where we're being fed with the word and that we are really focusing so much more on our own personal relationships than we are in trying to place another another human being on a pedestal. That, that is true. I mean, there's 
so many pastors or ministers, they want to call themselves, that a lot of people can relate to. And I just so enjoy that character because it just, like, opened up a whole lot. I mean, where you might have been closed eyes on, it kind of, like, opened you up to say, well, you know what? Mm, they kind of like that. But, yeah, I just I just so enjoy you. I, oh, man, and just keep it up. I mean, because you have reeled us in, and there's no coming out because we just look forward to more of you, more of you, more of you. So if God continue to bless you, you bless us. And I just want to say that have a blessed day. Thank you so much. You too. I hope to meet you in the future. Yes, I do too. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Happy Saturday. Happy Saturday to you too. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Oh my goodness. It's like crazy. People are so excited to... And, and they, they are and that and you just don't know you... And uh, both the callers have been just such a blessing to me this morning. It's, like I said, it's just one of those days. You know, so this, this is a good day today. Well, we, I mean, you know what? I'm happy that you decided to be on little old my show. Um, <laughs> because this is a blessing that you yeah. would even come on my show. I'm going to tell you. And I can't believe it. I am in awe right now. But I am so thankful that you decided to take this and say, I feel like you took a chance on me. Yeah, well, you took one on me. I mean, you, you know, never, ever sell yourself short because what you're doing, as I said before, you know, is a great thing. It's a, a great ministry. And I'm the one who really appreciates the opportunity, you know, that you would even contact me and invite me to give me this opportunity. So I'm just really, really grateful for that. Well, thank you, Kimberla. And I had another caller. I think they they hung up. Okay. But everyone, we just want to tell Kimberla that we are so very thankful that she came on this show. And we definitely want to have you back on. Especially once people, you know, get that book, they read it. I would love to have you come back and answer some of their questions. <laughs> oh, yes, definitely. I look forward to it. So, you know, let's count on that. Yeah, I am. I'm really looking toward and, and forward uh, to the feedback for A Sinful Calling because not only is story centering on Dylan and him, you know, now starting a church in the middle of his living room and now having 1,000 members and sort of being on this mission to become much bigger than his dad is. But he is also very close now with his sister, which is Curtis Black's eldest daughter. And so she's, of course, dealing with lots of issues and really what becomes a mental issue that I think, you know, people will want to pay attention to because so many times, um, especially in certain communities, we don't pay attention to mental illness. We think people can just get over whatever they're going through. We don't think they should get the professional help they need, or we're in denial because we don't want to bring a certain amount of embarrassment. So, yeah, I, I am excited to just hear what people will have to say. Okay, we have one last person, if you don't mind. I don't want, because I feel so bad that nobody was, you know, able to get through. Hi, caller. You're on That's What's Up with Jacosta, and you're listening to our great author, Kimberla lawson Roby. Hi, this is Charlene. Hi. Hello. Miss Kimberly, I love your books. Thank you. And my you. question for you is, how did you come up with a character, Curtis Black? Oh, everybody, just, somebody <laughs> just said that. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I mean, you know that, but, you, you know, as I was, he, is, uh, he's a, he is just a mixture of a number of different men that I have known and seen and heard about over the years. And, you know, he exists, you know, and sadly he still exists today um, throughout the country. But, yeah, he, he's not any one individual. So I think a lot of times, and especially where I live, people tend to think, oh, we know who you're writing about. And, uh, you know, no, it's not one person. You know, I would never, ever do that, you know, with a pastor or with anyone. So, but, yeah, he just represents... Um, you know, certain men and women that I think we need to be careful of. But it's so amazing to me now that we're actually seeing that character in our ministers. Yes, yes. 
So that, that, that makes it more real than ever. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It, it, it's bringing reality up close and in front. It is. Yes, yes. and that's, that's my goal. And I think um, I, my husband and I have talked about this over the years. He's like, you know, it's always gone on. Even, you know, he has stories that he can tell me from when he was a little boy, you know, watching things and being shocked about it. And so it's always gone on. I just think, as you were saying, it's not been as out and in the forefront, you know. I think it's just now where, you know, people have had enough and, and they're talking about it a lot more openly than ever before. That's true, and, and that makes you a difference because everything needs to be out in open. Mm-hmm, it does, it does. Well, I appreciate your, your artistry and your talent. It is so amazing. Thanks well, thank for keeping you. us going. <laughs> thank you. Thank you for reading my book I, and my books in general and, and for your support because it is because of you and, and all my readers that I'm even able to do what I do. So thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you so much okay. and you have a happy Saturday. Thank you. You too. Okay. Take care. That is, I mean, that's what I'm talking about. People showing you so much love. People just wanting to say, hey, you know what? Who is Curtis Black? <laughs> so that in itself is hilarious, I think. But um, I feel so bad because I know my aunt, she loves you. And when I told her that you were coming on my show, she was freaking out. <laughs> she fanned out like no other. So I have to have you come back on so she can get that chance to uh, definitely call in and talk to you. Yeah. Definitely. Yeah. I, I want to thank you. To be able to chat with her. So I look forward to talking to you again for sure. Yes, me too. And um, I'll set that up. I'll give it a few months and see what people have to say about a sinful calling. <laughs> Everyone today on this great radio station, 108 Praise Radio, where we're always voicing the gospel, we were able to talk to New York Times best-selling author, Kimberla Lawson Roby. And you know her famously for her irreverent Curtis Black novels. And she has a new novel coming out, A Sinful Calling. And it'll be out June 21st. But you can go anywhere and pre-order your novel right now. You don't want to miss it. Remember that she came out with Best Friends Forever at the top of this year. And you can go get that at any store that sells books. Because I have it. It's a great novel. Kimberla, we will continue to support you. We will continue to pray for you. We will continue to send much love your way. Especially as you go and do your um, book signings and things of that nature. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. And thank you. And we can't have to wait to have you on again. Happy Saturday, Kimberla. Okay, happy Saturday. God bless you all. God bless you. I love you, my sister. Okay, love you too. Bye. Bye-bye. Hello, 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 beautiful people. I am so happy that we had Kimberla on our show. I know that we might didn't get to speak to everyone. I promise next time we have her on that all of you will be able to get to call in. And um, But I'm going to go ahead and just apologize. But I know you can rehear this you broadcast on Wednesday. You don't want to miss it. Remember Wednesday at... 3 o'clock. You'll be able to hear this again. You'll be able to hear about the domestic violence. Uh, you'll be able to hear about Reverend Curtis Black <laughs> and his son who has hit the scene and who has his new church. And it's an amazing novel, a sinful calling. And I already have it because the publisher sent it to me. And I love it. Great book, great read. Her novel, Best Friends Forever. That is an amazing read, amazing book. You don't want to miss that book. I'm telling you guys, that book is one for you to put on the shelf. If you have a friend uh, that you know has been there for you, if you have a friend you know absolutely 
loves you and you love them, pick that book up. Pick it up because that book will help you pretty much just understand what true friendship is all about. True friendship is about love. True friendship is about being there no matter if things are going good or going bad. That's what friendship is. And I will continue to let you all know more and more about domestic violence. I will continue to bring awareness to domestic violence. I will continue to just open everybody's eyes on what's going on out there in our world that people, where people feel like they can hurt each other and they feel like that they may get away with it. But here's the thing that my grandmother has always told me is that you may get away with it on this side. <laughs> but on the other side of this green earth, you won't. When judgment day comes, you will not get away with it. Let me give you the National Domestic Violence Hotline. It is 1-800-799-SAFE. That's 1-800-799-SAFE. 1-800-799-7233. And you can call there. And please, 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 if you know someone, give them that number and help them. The 24-hour statewide hotline 1-800-33-HAVEN. The number again is 1-800-33-HAVEN. 1-800-334-2836. 1-800-334-2836. Let's make sure that we bring awareness to this thing that they call domestic violence. That we know that our God that we serve will have vengeance over everything and all things. I love you all. I tell you to have a happy Saturday. Have a happy week. Next week, we're going to have Jermaine Dolly on, who is one of my, oh my gosh, all-time best gospel singers right now. He sings you, and everybody knows I love this song. This man's falsetto is amazing. So he'll be on my show next week, and I cannot wait until he comes on and graces you all with it. Once again, I want to thank Kimberla Lawson Roby for coming on my show. Remember, you can pre-order her book, A Sinful Calling. So go get it. You know, this is New York Times and USA Today best-selling author, Kimberla Lawson Roby. And you guys, she's the best author that I know. I'm going to tell you right now. She's won an NAACP Image Award. This woman is amazing. I want to thank Nalda for sitting in with me today as we went over the domestic violence things. And I want to send the best shout out ever to my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. With you, God, I know that all things are possible. And this week, I have seen you show up and show out on numerous occasions. I want to send a special hello to my friend, my sister. She knows who she is. I love her while she's there recovering. I know that we'll be on this road with her. Remember, if you would like to make a donation to her family, you can go to www.acircleforme.org. That's www.acircleforme.org. Thank you again for listening. Thank you again for loving us. Thank you again for being here. Happy Saturday. Remember, you've just listened to That's What's Up with Jocasta on 108 Praise Radio, where we're always voicing the gospel. Listen to the rebroadcast of this broadcast on Wednesday, this upcoming Wednesday at 3 p.m. till 5 p.m. Until then, I love you so much, and I love you with the blood of Jesus. Peace. Then I love you so much, and I love you with the blood of Jesus. Ooh. I have my days when it's true, y'all. I feel bad.